Greetings. Today we will dive into the unique world of Stoicism, a philosophical teaching that can help us find wisdom, peace and happiness in the hustle and bustle of modern life. Stoicism is a philosophy that originated in ancient Greece and has become one of the most influential movements in Western philosophy. It offers us a new way of looking at the world and our place in it. At the heart of Stoic philosophy is the idea that our happiness and well-being depend on our inner state, not on external circumstances. Stoics teach us how to develop inner wisdom and virtue so that we can become the best versions of ourselves. One of the key principles of Stoicism is the distinction between what is in our power and what is outside of our power. We cannot control external events or the actions of others, but we can always control our thoughts, emotions, and reactions to what happens. The Stoics encourage us to accept the inevitability of change and the imperfections of the world, to see them as opportunities for growth and development. They teach us to live in harmony with nature and to strive for justice, courage, and wisdom. In our video, we will dive into the world of Stoicism study its basic principles, and learn how they can be applied in everyday life. We will look at the lives and teachings of the great Stoics, learn about their influence on modernity, and discuss practical tips for applying Stoic principles to our hectic and fast-paced lives. Get ready for a fascinating journey into the world of Stoicism, where we will uncover its hidden secrets and learn how to build a happier and more conscious life Welcome to the fascinating world of Stoicism. What is Stoicism? Stoicism is a school of philosophy that originated in ancient Greece and Rome in the early 3rd century BC. It is important to remember that at that time, people thought and perceived the world in a completely different way. Everyone's main concern was not to live an unhappy life, and they sought to direct their thoughts, decisions, behavior in ways that would promote a life satisfaction. However, they did not automatically assume that attaining material wealth, job prestige, or possessing beautiful things would lead to happiness. People of the time, with great persistence, sought to understand how one could have a beautiful soul. Stoicism became one of the most famous schools of thought of the period because the Stoics offered compelling answers to anxiety, stress, fear, and other troubling questions that people had, such as, what do I want out of life? The Stoics offered an operating system to help deal with the trials of human existence. Their ultimate answer to all these questions, in essence, was as follows. I want the permanent happiness and peace of mind that comes from being a virtuous person. The Stoics taught that a person can hone the virtues of character by placing more importance on actions than words. Short, Ba's positive behavior leads to more positive life experiences, whereas negative behavior leads to more difficult and unpleasant experiences. To summarize, Stoicism was an ancient school of philosophy that taught a certain way of life. Its main goal was to teach people how to live virtuous lives, maximize happiness, and reduce negative emotions. Over the centuries, Stoicism has been tested by many famous people, including George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Ariana Huffington, Tom Brady, Tim Ferriss, and many others. Although the principles of Stoicism originated long ago, their strategies are still relevant today. In today's world, where stress and anxiety can overwhelm us, Stoicism offers us wisdom and tools for coping and finding inner peace. One of the key ideas of Stoicism is the realization that we cannot always control external circumstances, but we can always control our reactions to them. The pursuit of virtue and wisdom is the foundation of Stoic practice. The Stoics teach us to develop four major virtues, wisdom, justice, courage, and moderation. Wisdom helps us to see the world clearly and make wise decisions. Justice includes treating others fairly and acting justly. Courage helps us overcome fears and obstacles. And moderation teaches us to control our desires and passions. The Stoics also develop practices that help them achieve inner peace. 
they learned to accept things as they were and to let go of what was beyond their control. This allowed them to free themselves from unnecessary anxiety and stress by focusing on what they could control, their thoughts, decisions, and actions. Stoicism also emphasizes the importance of practicing gratitude and presence. They learned to appreciate what was already in their lives and to find joy in the moment. They realized that happiness does not lie in external circumstances, but in our inner attitude toward them, Stoic principles and strategies have applicability, not only in our personal lives, but also in our professional lives. They help develop emotional intelligence, improve decision-making and coping skills. Stoicism also emphasizes the importance of ethics and morale principles in business relationships. In the modern world, Stoicism finds its application in meditation practices, cognitive therapy, and various self-improvement methods. Many famous leaders, entrepreneurs, and athletes find in Stoicism inspiration and guidance to achieve their goals. Thus, Stoicism is a valuable philosophical practice that helps us develop virtues, accept life's challenges with wisdom, and find inner harmony. It remains relevant and in demand in our modern world where rapid change, stress, and anxiety are becoming more prevalent. Who were the Stoics? Marcus Aurelius was not only a prominent Stoic, but also one of the most revered emperors of the Roman Empire. His reign coincided with a period of hardship and challenge, including wars, epidemics, and political controversy, while other emperors could be cruel and ruthless. Aurelius strove to live according to Stoic principles. He regularly practiced introspection and self-examination to develop his virtue and wisdom. His meditations are a kind of diary in which he recorded his thoughts and reflections on human nature, ethics, and justice. Aurelius emphasized the importance of accepting life's hardships and sought inner peace during trials. His works remain some of the most influential texts of Stoic philosophy. Another of the famous Stoics was Lucius Annius Seneca. He was a Roman philosopher, a writer, and statesman. Seneca is considered one of the most accessible and practical Stoics. His letters to his friend Lucilius became popular sources of Stoic wisdom. In his letters, Seneca addressed various aspects of human life, such as friendship, mortality, altruism, and the use of time. He offered practical advice on how to apply Stoic principles to everyday life. Seneca also emphasized the importance of ethics and morality. He encouraged people to be just, just compassionate, astak hos, and kind in their interactions with others. Seneca believed that true goodness did not lie in power and wealth, but in virtue and wisdom. His letters and essays have become popular with modern readers who are looking for practical guidance on how to apply Stoic principles to their lives. Seneca offered simple and specific advice that can be applied to improve one's character and relationships with others. In addition to Marcus Aurelius and Seneca Eyer, Stoic philosophy had many other prominent thinkers. Chrysippus, ah, the founder of the Stoic school, developed many of the basic principles of Stoicism. Zeno of Kidian systematized these principles and formed them into a unified doctrine. Stoics such as Seneca the Younger and Musonius. Rufus continued to develop Stoic philosophy and apply it to their lives. Overall, Lush the Stoics were a group of thinkers who developed and practiced Stoic philosophy. Their writings and ideas remain relevant and important in today's world, offering us practical tools for developing virtue, managing our emotions, and achieving inner peace. Zeno of Sidious. Considered the founder of Stoic philosophy. After a shipwreck near Athens, Zeno turned his misfortune into an opportunity and began to study philosophy. He attended lectures from various schools of philosophy, including Cynicism and Epicureanism. As he traveled through the world of ideas, Zeno developed his own philosophical system, which he taught at the Stoa Porcelos, an outdoor colonnade in Athens known for its painted wall. 
Stoic philosophy gets its name from the Greek word stoikos, meaning porch. This is because Zeno and his followers often met on the open colonnade of the Stoa Poikile to discuss their ideas. They formed a community of Stoics who developed the philosophy and practice of Stoicism. Zeno was followed by other prominent Stoics, such as Chrysippus, Panetheus, and Cleanthus. Chrysippus developed many of the basic principles of Stoicism and made significant contributions to its development. Panetheus, Jaffi Zeno's successor, spread Stoicism in Rome and became the mentor of Cicero, the Roman orator and philosopher Cleanthus, the last head of the Stoic school in Athens, was instrumental in preserving and spreading Stoic philosophy. The Stoics developed their philosophy based on principles such as nature, reason, and virtue. They taught that man should accept the world as it is and control his reactions to external events. Stoicism emphasized the importance of developing virtues such as wisdom, justice, courage, and moderation, and sought to achieve inner harmony and tranquility. Overall, Zeno and other Stoics played an important role in the formation of Stoic philosophy and its dissemination. Their ideas and principles remain relevant and in demand in our modern world, offering us valuable tools for personal development, managing emotions, in accepting life's challenges with wisdom and strength, Epictetus was a prominent Stoic philosopher who lived in the first and second centuries aid. His life was unusual in that he was born into slavery and later became free. Epictetus was known for his insight and practical approach to Stoic philosophy. One of Epictetus' most famous works is his handbook, Enchiridion, also known as the Manual. In this book, Epictetus provided a practical guide to applying Stoic principles to everyday life. He explained how Stoic strategies could improve the quality of life and provided compelling arguments for adopting Stoicism as a core philosophical system. Epictetus emphasized the importance of distinguishing between what is in our power and what is outside of our power. He taught that we cannot control external circumstances, but we can control our reactions to them. Therefore, he encouraged people to focus on what they can change, their thoughts, beliefs, and reactions. One of the most famous principles associated with Epictetus is the Serenity Prayer. He taught that we should strive for tranquility by accepting what we cannot change and having the wisdom and courage to change what we can. This prayer has become famous and widely quoted, and it reflects the basic principles of Stoic philosophy such as accepting fate and actively changing what is in our power. Epictetus left a significant legacy in Stoic philosophy. His teachings on inner peace, acceptance of fate, and control over one's reactions to external events remain relevant and useful in today's world. Epictetus taught that true goodness lies in virtue and wisdom, and that we can achieve happiness by developing our character and applying Stoic principles to our lives. The basic principles of Stoicism. Principle number one, nature and reason. The concept of nature and reason is central to Stoicism and has a profound influence on our understanding of the world and our lives. The Stoics believed that the world was governed by reason, kikos, which they called divine reason or logos. This mind pervades all things and is the basis of order and harmony in the universe. Nature, Sikhal, according to Stoic teaching, has its own laws and order to be followed. They urged us to live in accordance with these laws and order to strive for harmony with the nature around us. The Stoics argued that nature provides us with patterns and examples to guide us in our lives. They viewed nature as a teacher of wisdom and a source of inspiration. However, the Stoics did not limit the concept of nature to the physical world. They also included moral and ethical aspects. The Stoics believed that human nature included the ability to think, reason, and make rational decisions. Reason is a key aspect of human nature and serves as a guide to virtue and well-being. 
Developing and utilizing reason is an important task for the Stoics. They encouraged us to use our reason to analyze and understand the world, to make wise decisions, and to control our emotions and reactions. The mind helps us to recognize and overcome our fears, doubts, y'all, and prejudices. It helps us to see things in their true light and make considered decisions. Living in accordance with nature and reason also means accepting our role in the universe and recognizing our responsibility to it. We are part of a larger system and are interconnected with all living things in the environment. The Stoics encouraged us to strive for prudence, wisdom and virtue to benefit ourselves and others. We should develop our abilities and use them to serve society and create well-being. Overall, draw the concept of nature and reason in Stoicism guides us to be in harmony with the world, to develop our minds, and to take responsibility for our lives and the environment. This principle encourages us to strive for wisdom, virtue, and harmony in all that we do. It helps us realize our connection to nature, and develop our abilities to achieve happiness and well-being. Principle number two, the distinction between power and lack of power. The Stoics taught that there is a distinction between things that are in our power and things that are out of our power. This principle plays an important role in Stoic philosophy and helps us develop wisdom, peace of mind, and well-being. Our thoughts, beliefs, desires, and reactions to events are in our power. These are internal aspects of our lives that we can control and change. We have the ability to choose how we react to events, how we perceive the world, and what beliefs and values we hold. The Stoics encouraged us to be conscious and responsible for our thoughts and actions. Stoicism encourages us to focus on what we can control, our inner world. We can develop our minds, cultivate virtues, and make wise decisions. We can control our emotions and reactions to events, choosing calmness and prudence over fear, anger, or anxiety. This does not mean we should deny or suppress our emotions, but we can develop control over them and avoid letting them rule us. However, many things in life are beyond our control. These are external circumstances such as the weather, the opinions of others, and social and political events. The Stoics encouraged us to accept all of these without resistance and to humbly adapt to what is beyond our control. We cannot control the actions of others or change the past. Instead, Stoicism encourages us to focus on what we can control, our thoughts, reactions, and choices. Embracing this principle helps us avoid anxiety, frustration, and suffering. We realize that our emotions and well-being should not be influenced by external circumstances that we cannot control. Instead, we focus on developing our inner world and how we respond to the world around us. Ultimately, Stoicism calls us to embrace our power over ourselves and accept everything else without resistance. We can develop our wisdom, virtues, and serenity to benefit ourselves and others. This allows us to live in harmony with the world and strive for well-being, regardless of external circumstances. Principle number three, virtue and wisdom. The Stoics believe that true goodness and happiness lay in the development of virtue and wisdom. Virtues are the moral qualities and characteristics that we develop and exhibit in our lives. They include qualities such as wisdom, justice, courage, and moderation. Wisdom is one of the basic virtues in Stoic philosophy. It means developing and using reason to analyze, understand, and accept the world around us. Wisdom helps us to see things in their true light to distinguish between good and evil, and to make wise decisions. It helps us develop a deep understanding of nature and our role in it. Justice is another important virtue that the Stoics encouraged us to develop. It means upholding the principles of fairness and equality in all our actions and relationships. Justice requires respect for the rights and interests of others, as well as moral standards and obligations. Courage is a quality that the Stoics considered essential for overcoming fear and accepting the challenges of life. It involves a willingness to stand up for one's beliefs and values and to 
take the necessary risks to achieve noble goals. Courage helps us overcome obstacles and grow as individuals. Moderation is a virtue that has to do with controlling one's desires and passions. It consists of moderation in meeting one's needs and refraining from excessive desire or excesses. Moderation helps us to maintain balance and harmony in our lives by avoiding excessive pursuits and attachments. The Stoics taught that virtue is the only source of true goodness and happiness. External circumstances and material achievements cannot give us true happiness unless we develop and manifest virtue in our lives. Virtue is an inner quality that we can cultivate and develop regardless of external circumstances. Developing virtues and wisdom helps us achieve harmony with nature and the mind. It helps us make wise decisions, develop ethical behavior, and serve society by developing virtues we come closer to the ideal of a prudent and happy life, realizing our responsibility to ourselves and others. Principle number four, acceptance of fate. The Stoics taught that we must accept fate and external circumstances as they are. This principle is based on the understanding that many aspects of life are beyond our control, and we cannot control everything that happens around us, rather than resisting and fighting what we cannot change. The Stoics encouraged us to accept it and find peace and humility in accepting fate. Accepting fate means realizing that many external circumstances, such as weather, or economic conditions, and the opinions of others, are beyond our control. We cannot change the past or predict the future. Instead, the Stoics encouraged us to focus on what we can control, our thoughts, reactions, and choices. Accepting fate does not mean indifference or passivity. It is not a denial of our ability to influence the world or to strive for change. Rather, it is a recognition that there are things we cannot change, and that resisting them will only lead to suffering and frustration. Accepting fate allows us to let go of worry and resistance, and instead focus on how we react to and perceive events. Accepting fate also involves realizing that our true power and freedom lies in our inner response to external circumstances. We can choose how we relate to events and how we respond to them. The Stoics encouraged us to develop calmness, humility, and prudence so that we can accept whatever happens with dignity and wisdom. Accepting fate does not mean inaction or refusal to act. We must still strive to achieve our goals and overcome obstacles. However, we do so with the understanding that the outcomes of our actions are not always up to us alone, and that we must be prepared that the results may be different than we expected. Accepting fate helps us maintain inner harmony and peace of mind, regardless of what is happening around us. Ultimately, accepting fate allows us to free ourselves from unnecessary suffering and worry, and instead strive for wisdom, prudence, and inner peace. This helps us to live in harmony with the world and accept whatever happens with dignity and wisdom. Principle number five, live in the present moment. Living in the present moment is a philosophical principle that the Stoics emphasized in their studies. They taught that the present moment is the only time we truly possess and that we should immerse ourselves completely in it. The past is gone, the future has not yet arrived, so the present moment is the only place where we can experience life and make decisions. Living in the present moment means being fully present in the current moment in time. It requires us to give up distraction and worrying about the past or future, and instead focus on the here and now. This allows us to recognize and appreciate the moments we would normally miss and enjoy, the simple joys of our lives. One of the key aspects of living in the present moment is to be aware of our thoughts, emotions, and physical sensations in the moment. We are encouraged to be mindful of our thoughts and feelings, not to evaluate them, but to simply observe them without resistance. This allows us to be aware of our reactions to what is happening and to accept them with wisdom and calmness. Living in the present moment also has to do with being aware of our actions and choices. We are encouraged to be conscious of our decisions and actions, to do them consciously and responsibly, 
when we are fully present in the present moment, we can make wise and ethical decisions based on our inner wisdom and values. Living in the present moment also helps us to free ourselves from unnecessary worry and suffering. When we focus on the past or the future, we may experience feelings of loss or anxiety. However, it's when we are fully present in the present moment, we realize that right now, in this moment, we have everything we need for happiness and well-being. Living in the present moment does not mean denying the past or refusing to plan for the future. It calls us to be aware of the present so that we can make wise decisions and act consciously in every moment of our lives. Living in the present moment helps us enjoy life, be more present and grateful for every moment we have. When we live in the present moment, we become more aware and attentive to the world around us. We begin to notice the beauty of nature and enjoy the simple joys that previously escaped our attention. We also become more present in our relationships with others, showing more empathy and understanding. Principle number six, effective utilization of external circumstances. The principle of effective utilization of external circumstances in Stoicism is not to let external events and conditions determine our emotional state or our happiness instead. Stoics encourage us to learn to adapt to the circumstances around us and use them to our advantage. Stoics teach us that we cannot control everything that happens in the outside world, but we can control our reactions to those events instead of wallowing in despair or frustration for unfavorable circumstances of time. We can look at them as opportunities for growth and development. For example, if we encounter difficulties or obstacles, the Stoics encourage us not to despair, but to look for ways to overcome these obstacles. We can use these situations as opportunities to develop our skills, strengthen our resilience, and gain new experiences. In addition, the Stoics encourage us to be flexible and adaptive. Instead of resisting change or trying to control everything around us, we can embrace change and find ways to adapt to new circumstances. This allows us to maintain inner stability and peace in all situations. Ultimately, the principle of making effective use of external circumstances in Stoicism helps us realize that we cannot control everything around us, but we can control our thoughts, reactions, and choices. We can use external circumstances, whatever they may be, to develop our wisdom, strength of character, adaptability, which ultimately leads to a more harmonious and satisfying life. Principle number seven, the practice of self-control. The principle of self-control in Stoicism plays an important role in achieving inner harmony and wisdom. It encourages us to practice control over our desires, passions, and reactions to external events in order to maintain a calm and clear mind in all circumstances. Stoics teach that external events and circumstances should not completely determine our emotions and reactions. Instead, we should develop the ability to observe our emotions and reactions, become aware of them, and decide how to respond to them. Practicing self-control involves the ability to remain calm and clear-headed during times of trouble or difficulty, rather than sinking into despair or frustration. The Stoics encourage us to approach a situation with wisdom and rationality. We should accept the situation as it is and seek rational and emotionally balanced solutions. In addition, practicing self-control involves controlling our desires and passions. The Stoics teach that we should strive for moral excellence and rational fulfillment, rather than giving in to endless desire and seeking fulfillment in external things. This is not to say that the Stoics deny our natural wants and needs. They urge us to control them and not let them control us. We must develop the ability to separate our desires from their true value and make decisions based on reason and moral principles. Practicing self-control also helps us to manage our reactions to external events. Instead of reacting automatically and emotionally, develop the observation and awareness to choose our reactions based on reason and wisdom. Ultimately, our practicing self-control and stoicism helps us develop inner freedom and independence from external circumstances. We become capable of making decisions based on reason and wisdom, rather than on emotional outbursts or external influences. This allows us to maintain inner stability 
achieve harmony and wisdom in our lives. In conclusion, Stoicism offers us valuable guidance for living in today's world where we often feel stressed, anxious, and uncertain. The principles of Stoicism, such as living in the present moment, accepting what we cannot change, and developing inner wisdom can help us find inner resilience and peace of mind. Stoics teach us that happiness and well-being do not depend on external circumstances, but rather on our internal attitudes toward them. We have the ability to choose our reactions to events and make wise decisions based on our values and principles. Living according to the principles of Stoicism helps us develop emotional resilience, overcome challenges, and find meaning in our experiences. We learn to accept inevitable change and take responsibility for our actions by striving for wisdom and virtue. Stoicism also calls us to be aware and attentive to the present moment. It reminds us of the importance of appreciating every moment of our lives, savoring simple joys, and being grateful for what we have. In today's world, where we often feel pressured and strive for success and external recognition, Stoicism offers us a path to inner harmony and tranquility. Applying the principles of Stoicism to our lives can help us become happier emotionally stable and wiser people. So, let's use the lessons of Stoicism to create a more conscious and prosperous life for ourselves and those around us. May Stoic principles become our trusted compasses in this fast-paced world, helping us to overcome challenges and pursue wisdom and happiness. Finally, if you enjoyed this video on Stoicism and want to learn more about the philosophy of Stoicism, apply its principles to your life. I encourage you to subscribe to our channel and put a like under this video. Click the subscribe button to be notified of new videos. And share this video with others so they too can benefit from Stoic wisdom. Thank you for your support. Together, we can spread the philosophy of Stoicism and help people find inner resilience and happiness.